Grey Ghost Gamers here, and I'm so excited to have you join me on my OP AF ASAP Extreme Playthrough. Before we start it all in motion, I just want to clarify that I won't be using any patch perks that can be obtained by completing any of the challenge modes. Technically, that would be on my next awesomely OP AF playthrough. But for the purposes of this ASAP version, I'm sticking with whatever the game provides. This is a very unique quest that will blow the game wide open and hopefully spark anyone watching this to explore and exploit it in ways yet to be discovered. All right, ready to get this going? Follow me. She's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come mm. on. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Your mom. You want to be able to come through? We got to get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here. Okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We only got room for two of you. We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get oh, on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Can't we here? Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> oh. 
Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers? Leon did this. Oh yeah, he's in trouble now. Stand by, folks. We gonna get him. Come on. Alright, as soon as you see that R2 to accelerate, that's your cue, folks. <laughs> You've got control of Deke now. And, uh... Don't worry about Leon. His aim is about as good as a stormtrooper in uh, this part of the game, so you don't have to worry about riding wildly. Even even throwing, like him throwing stuff, uh, if you just ride down the middle, <laughs> you'll, you'll avoid them all. You don't even need to worry about that. So, just he's throwing them left, right, making you try to swerve, but you don't need to. Same thing right here. You can just go straight and... Uh, not worry about the flames. Yeah, you saw the shot right at him. Didn't do nothing to Deke, because nothing's going to happen. This is a tutorial for you to get used to the controls, the handling, all that kind of stuff. So there's not really too much you're going to worry about here. Not a lot outside of what the game expects you to do or is going to deviate from what the game is going to be doing, so... Even these guys accelerating... Yeah, you're not going to worry about that, you can't outrun... They can't outrun you. Having a deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. Finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, 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 here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? Used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer. He must be heading down there toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. Now that's pretty neat. Your first look at what a horde is in this game. Search him. Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste a bullet not on her. 
Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, uh, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no, no. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. And the horde is gone. Just like that. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Hope you got a good glimpse. That's okay. You're going to be getting plenty of glimpses uh, once we get out there. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. Tonight, take some bounty to send it, Tucker. A lot if it's pissing down the rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. I'm gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. Son of a bitch. Guessing that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. A fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shot up my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything out of Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look, let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No. I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well... Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's is as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? A map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah. Okay. So, tomorrow, you get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect all Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Something's blocking the road. Careful. I saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. And continuing the tutorial section. Ready? The game is yep. uh, Push. just going to throw a little combat your way. Get used to that. Here we go. 
Stop him! First, we start off a little button mashing. And then a few prompts to let you know all your options uh, when it comes to melee combat. You always kind of want to be on the move. You never want to be standing still with melee. <laughs> Except like me standing right there. <laughs> That's okay. That completes this tutorial. We're almost there. In some instances, it's actually advisable to wait until the enemy is almost on top of you before you decide to move. But that's definitely a choice that you gotta make in the heat of the moment. And now off we go to Crazy Willies! Huh. Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you want to do this? Blow me your shotgun. I'll walk point. <sighs> A little bit more tutorial time as we take on our first set of Freakers. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn Pioneers. Yeah. Oh, shit. Look at them all. What the goddamn dogs is the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Unlikely okay. that we'll ever come back to these vehicles, so might as well take advantage of the fact that we can open them and take whatever contents they have right now. And, uh... <laughs> no, I haven't gone crazy. I actually saw this maneuver as part of a speed run. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Wait, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it here. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Sounds like you got wish. Good night. Hey, deep, 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 deep. Bro, bro. I think he's dead. You're gonna break my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing Deke still has some pent-up anger about the situation. <laughs> You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Well, just drop it. I gotta reload. Finally. Huh, that was a cheeky little bastard trying to swing at me with his good arm. <laughs> well, why not, right? You have one arm left. Might as well use it. I need scrap. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Yeah. Lock and load and grab whatever we can.
It won't give me the status of Deke's health, but I'm imagining it's all right. I'm really glad that for the most part the quick time event button mashing is not really necessary. Every time I hear this alarm, especially in this game, it just flashes me back to The Walking Dead and Glenn when he hot-wired the sports car and <laughs> ends up driving it all the way back to camp with the alarm going. Usually when I get this close. Okay. Get more freaks! Yeah. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Shit, almost Ooh. out. That's a lot of blood, but I I loved shooting the legs out from that other freaker. <laughs> Yep, always more ammo. Keep slacking up. Again, I'm never going to come back this way in the tunnel to bother. So, might as well just keep it locked and loaded just for this section. Another nest. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Oh. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. This'll just take a sec. That'll do it. Here they come. Changing up my strategy here. I'm gonna use Boozer as a human shield. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. I always aim too high, but... <laughs> hey, come on. Get on. Yeah, okay, give me a sec. I guess, uh, I guess Boozer's got, like, steel plating or ceramic plating under his jacket there, because he seems okay from a few shotgun blasts to the head. I was looking for an axe in that fire truck, but there's nothing there. It's too early. I've been thinking about what you said, about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. You wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. Just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. 
shit. Right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How do you stick in something? This is also a good time to make a save game, so I'm going to do that momentarily. And again, I'm just going to alter how I'm going to play this section of the game, because there are a few infestation nests right here at this location. And I figured, you know what? <laughs> I've got some uh, resources here that I can definitely use to take them out, so... I'll just uh, prep ahead of time, grab a few things. And then we'll get back to what the game wants me to do. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go stealth. I got it. Got the bushes. I mean, I haven't played this game too many times. I think it's my third complete playthrough, to be honest. Yeah, let's craft a couple. Now, there are four nests in total. But there's enough resources here to uh, craft what I need for this encounter. There's one in the gas station and one in that truck. And then there's two ahead of me. But I'm going to come back to them later. I'm just going to follow the storyline and the path that the game wants me to take for the most part right here. What's this? Yeah, grab that. Playing at Survival 2, Deke is uh, very vulnerable to freak or swipe damage and damage of any kind, so... And uh, there we go, a crafted Molotov ready to go. So that already takes us up to the three that we can carry. Eventually we'll get the carry that weight skill so that we can double our inventory. But we also want to get to that building right there. Because inside holds an attractor, which is another nice piece of hardware that'll be very handy in the arsenal. Oh, you son of a bitch! Man! Okay. Time to improvise. Being out of sight should... Yeah, there he goes. He's disinterested now, so... And I definitely want to hit this car up. Because it's got a nice suppressor. So some of the more larger vehicles will have suppressors instead of scrap. So you can scavenge a few of those if you want as well. I think in this particular area, there's okay, two, here we go. two or three, I think two. Now we came across the newts at the beginning, but this is really going to be our first confrontation. But I'm always going to stop. So there's another suppressor for the handgun. I snuck away. Now, if you're a little squeamish, I suggest you pause or skip this part. Yeah, that was, that's one of the more 
to be honest, I think that's one of the more brutal deaths that uh, D can inflict on somebody, especially uh, since we know that the Newts uh, were former children. So that that <laughs> that was a pretty sadistic uh, addition to the game. And uh, if I can, I I avoid the Newts. I mean, they're jumpers, so they like to jump after me. But there we go. We can pick up a beer bottle there. And there's only one more to deal with down here. Excellent. Oh, I'm such a great shot. Oh, well. <laughs> Out comes the bat. Sorry, honey. There is plenty of Molotov crafting material in this uh, particular section of the game. Not sure of the exact number, never counted, but I think there's at least a dozen cans of kerosene. Which is great if you're also carrying the crossbow and you happen to require kerosene for the incendiary bolt. Can definitely not worry about running out of that here. I'm also going to alter the trajectory of the story here a little bit because I'm actually going to take care of the infestation nests that are in this area before even going after Boozer. So once I acquire the part off the bike here, I'm going to pretty much ignore Boozer and Boozer, go after the nests. I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. There is no timer, so there's no actual reason to worry about hurrying to go save Boozer. He's just going to hang out. Shit. Rippers. But I want to grab that uh, piece of paper because that's the safe combination for where we can acquire the attractor. And you always want to pick the second door to the right. And there we go. One attractor in our back pocket, should we ever decide to use it. Now I'm going to go back while Boozer is still being attacked and take care of these nests. Yeah. You go down, bud. We, you, you, you turned around too fast the last time. Okay. Now we're going to head up and take out the two at the top of the hill. Oh, but you know what? Oh, I was thinking... Okay. Change of tactics, because I can take out that one without being seen. Uh, yeah, you gotta actually duck Deke. And now we we'll just scoot our way over here. And because of the bottles and the kerosene that we're able to collect, I've got three nests left, three Molotovs to use. This is going to be a hit and run. Go for that one. One in the truck. Now they are coming after me, obviously. But one of the reasons why I decided to do this at the end is because regardless of the fact that they're chasing me Nice I mean, why not? I'm already here So I've already added some trust and cash to Hot Springs Not even nowhere near there yet But 
being able to take care of those at the end simply because once we cross the threshold of where the game is going to pick us up again we're going to just quickly advance and there we go next cutscene these tats are dead symbols of a dead man dead symbols of the lost get off me the bitches biker man you must be brought low biker man for you are lost, and we are found. Fuck you. Oh! The path. The path. We will show you. You are not one of the found. You are the lost. The path. You are lost. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. <laughs> <laughs> These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! Over here! You sons of bitches, get off them! Whipper asshole, come on! Yeah, I'm two thirds of a good shot. <laughs> I see you running away. Yeah, I see you too. Bye bye. <laughs> Bruiser, which is I'm gonna kill them all. Every Bruiser, fucking one of them. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Uh, let me help you up. Yeah, I got this. No, no, you don't. Ah. Get up. Uh, fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Uh, uh, I didn't uh, see them, and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. No, don't look at it. My God, they are. I'm serious. Don't look at it. My God, don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh shit. Go, go. Once you wait out here, let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right, pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your army, get my bike. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that Nero checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it in the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. All right. Thanks a lot, loser. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're just going to check the locker, see what we got. Now, we're not going to have anything in the primary because we have to pick that up. But we've got our trusty 9mm that we've been carrying around. And in this case, I have the Drifter crossbow available because of the version of the uh, game that I bought. So if you don't, crossbow is still good enough. Uh, you won't need anything special about it, especially here early game. But I will load up on some extra ammo and take a gander around the camp. Damn it, Boozer, your arm's not going to be fine. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. Yeah, you will, Deke. Don't worry. But uh, I can use these. we're uh, gonna be leaving Cascades after we get to uh, Copeland's camp, so Boozer's just gonna have to hang out for a I while. Can use this. 
I got a use for you. Good thing is the game won't let him die, so we don't have to worry. It's not like there's a time limit. We could probably spend the next 20 years roaming around the countryside if we wanted to. And not have to worry about his uh, arm or him dying. So that's great. Love it. Love a game that has no time limits. Okay. Now there's some extra stuff here. More scrap. Yeah, we're going to load up as much as we can. Shall we change out our baseball bat? <laughs> okay. Why not? Change out 87 for 100. That'll always work. There is a skill that we can acquire later on to regenerate any melee weapon with scrap, but not going to do that right now. I want to carry that weight. But while we're here and we have the crossbow in hand, won't be a bad idea just to stock up on what we need for that for the moment. I'm not taking Boozer's bike. I got to get to mine before it gets dark. And there's one more down there, but the moment, uh, moment we cross the threshold because there's a... Uh, there's a guy just waiting in the distance. He's just hanging out. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. Now again, we don't have to worry about uh, getting out of range because there's no limit. Okay, are we, are we really? Yeah, we really are. We only have 20. 20 bullets for the gun, so. Yeah, I think I'm also stocked up. No, no, I could still grab some more. Okay, good. I'll take that. There's another nice little plant. And as you can see, just they're just waiting for us, so. We're ready to take these guys out. And we're also going to pick up another weapon. Hey there. So what'd you find? It's just like I said, those drifters we saw we'll roughly line it up. Pick, they're holed up just up the road. Okay. Now we move. Maybe we can sneak into this pile of bushes and not alert anybody. Don't venture too far out. Sniper. Sniper. Now, can I make it to this bush? Nope. They saw me. Okay, time to go. Come on. Open, he shot me. Holy shit! Come on, come on, come on! I've got a weapon, so we're just gonna hoof it. Let's see if we can get out of his range. Cause he'll be coming up. That side, maybe. Huh. Well, not wanting to pop up and get shot at, there's a nice little exploit that we can use right here that'll be some help in surveying the area. And that is photo mode. And essentially use it as a drone <laughs> that we can elevate into the air and take a look at our surroundings. Let me get rid of that. And we can see the Marauder right there behind the rock. Now, if the enemy is close enough, if we press the R3 button, and I'm going to try it here because I don't know if I'm close enough, we actually can switch to the Marauder's point of view. So now we can see where the Marauder is in relation to Deke. Now let's check it out. Yeah, so <laughs> there's Deke up there. Now we could pull this puppy back pretty far. And Deke's up there and the Marauder's hiding behind a rock. So now that we have that information, 
Let's use it. Because I don't think he's going to move. Yeah, he's still there. Ugh, that it? Jesus. No, not quite. Fuck it all. That's the last of That's it. That's it, buddy. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Now he's got a Stay pistol. The hell off O'Leary Mountain. Ooh, and a tractor Those and a med kit. That was camp. nice. Just a few drifters looking to move in our Now, safe there's house. another weapon we could use. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm going to be heading to my bike, deacon out. That was a nice find there. This more than you. And I only got pistol ammo. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, we could pick up that M7. Won't be needing this. And if there's... Ooh. No, that's not going to make much difference on the bat. That's all right. And we've got more ammo there. And nice little plant. All right. Time to see what else we can scavenge. Oh, yes. Uh, got it. There's that. Finally. Jesus. And I think... Can't climb up there? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> Just before we leave, yes, we'll pick that up. I'll check our inventory now. So we're fully loaded on our ability to heal ourselves. Oh, while we're at it, let's uh, craft some Molotovs. Have that in our back pocket. I'll take that. I'm actually going to swap out for a different gun, because that one's pretty loud. But it's got good range. And now that we've crafted some Molotovs, we can also... Oh, yes, more. The more the merrier. Okay. Alright, I think we've cleaned these guys out. Now, uh, where's the bike? Way over there. Oh, damn freakers. Okay. So we're just going to steer clear of those guys. Sure, we can give them a wide berth. Should be able to jog past them, no problem. Anything along the way, we'll pick up. Goddamn rain! If it's not the freaks, it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. Okay. Keep an eye on those. Should be able to get by. So, so far, so good. Gotta get to my bike. Getting closer. Yeah, we'll get you there, Deke. Don't worry. Anybody up here? Okay, now I'm going to sprint for it. <sighs> I gotta get close. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are now, you? Now, it was nice that we picked up that med kit because it. if this we didn't, we, left it. we can always get into the med kits by raiding an ambulance. So that's, that's not a bad deal. But we're full up, so we're good. Maxed out. And now we're going to move on to the next phase. My bike's gone. Fuck! 
Damn it, Copeland. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! Every time he says, I'm not gonna kill you, it just reminds me of Dr. McCoy from Star hey. Trek. I, I won't kill you. It's they who'll do the killing. Oh, God damn it. All right, <laughs> now I'm going to kill you. <sighs> Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. Get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. I see you up there. Anybody on this side? Yeah. They're there. Didn't see me yet. That's okay. This is another one where it doesn't really matter how far he gets. You don't have to worry about it. You could roam around a little bit and pick up what you need. I only found, found the one plant, though. That's alright. Okay, let's move it along. Go! Go, go, go! I said ASAP. So we'll get as much stamina as we can. St. John, is that you? Some son of a bitch stole my bike. I know nothing about that. Better go talk to man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. So right now, Copeland's camp is obviously the first uh, facility that you'll end up at. And all the vendors are available. There's the kitchen where you can turn in meats and veggies that you pick up along the way. Since we picked up some bounties, hey, uh. I'm going to turn them in. Get some more money. <laughs> You've been busy. That's it. Yippers. Yippers. Yeah, good. Um, I'm not looking for trouble today. Well, that's okay. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh. Oh, well. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. The road hard, too. The fool the road that didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, he just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, right? Let's talk. Like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Ripper oh, game. yeah, right. <laughs> Twice now they've been up here. I'm actually supposed to follow them. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. The lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snow melt. No one left to stock with the fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. Used to go hunting out here with the old man. We'd build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick them off clean. Some winters had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. 
My old man had only one law, the United States Constitution. If he could only see us now. America, the land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. <laughs> Thug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike. That your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. Out of way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Go, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. I really like the little detail the devs put in by rendering Deke's current loadout even during the cutscenes. I didn't really notice that the first two playthroughs. But it's just a little detail that I think adds a little bit to it. Regardless of that, uh, Copeland is going to have to wait for the fact that we are uh, going to start to deviate from the game story points as of now. We're just going to head back down to Manny so we can advance the story. But we're going off-grid from this point on. Now, I really thought I'd be able to get an SAF off those marauders. Um, but that didn't work out. I got this rifle instead. No worries. Yeah, we're going to pick up on that MG45 pretty soon as well. But not through the normal storyline. Nope. We are in spoiler territory as of this moment. Hold on to your hats because we are leaving the Cascades totally behind. What do you want? Yeah? But oh, Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. <clears throat> what do you want? Say, man. Yeah, so let's take a look at uh, the map. And uh, before we do that, obviously, the game is uh, showing us what, uh, what navigational aids we have at our disposal. I want to look at, yeah, we just got a skill point, which we will use. And what we're going to use it on is a skill set that will allow Deke to carry essentially double the capacity of what he's able to here at the start of the game. For that, it's several tiers up and it's called carry that weight. 
It says increases inventory space, but that's polite way of saying double. So he can carry three Molotovs now. We add this skill, he'll be able to carry six. And that's just going to be a function of anything that he can carry or throw. Even if it's attractors or Molotovs or grenades, whatnot. That's, that's essentially what's going to happen. Each tier has already one skill checked off. But since it's not available at the Survival 2 level that I'm playing at, it still requires me to have the two skills to open up the next tier. So I gotta choose, I gotta, I gotta pick both. I can't uh, avoid it. Like, it's not like, oh, there's one already picked. I just have to pick one more. No, it's gonna be both. So all three will eventually be selected to unlock the tier. So we got one, so we got one, two, three, four, five. And that will take us, five more will get us to this tier, and then one more. So we got six skill points to earn before we can get carry that weight. Ugh, will we get them early? ASAP, I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, let's take a look at the map. There we go. Yeah, storylines. I'm actually not interested in uh, going to this Nero camp site just yet. Because tomorrow morning, so it's 8 o'clock at night, traveling at night just has the freakers roaming everywhere and makes it a lot more dangerous, especially the condition that Deke is in with the low health that he has and the, the condition the bike is in which is pretty basic. It's, it's, they, they, they totally destroyed his bike and give him a crappy one. But we are going to a different region tomorrow. So, not where you think. We are heading south. Heading south, my friends. Why are you here? Just taking a look. Oh yeah, actually, before we take off, just want to show you that there's actually I'm not looking for trouble. Not much at this today. This guy, yeah. all he's got is supplies. No, oh, we can fill up. Do we want to fill up? Sure, why not? Good choice. Pistol's good, and we can't get anything else. And he has no weapons. So this is the one merchant that doesn't have anything as far as weapons go. So we've got the sidearm always because it's in our because it's in our locker. So that's a good thing. And we've got the crossbows. Because we have them in our locker, we'll always have them available at whatever locker we choose, whether right. it's at a merchant. And you can see, his uh, stock of weaponry is pretty damn bare. Like, how are you guys surviving out here? Don't even have fishing rods or nothing? Anyway. <laughs> We're going to catch up on some sleep. Where's Copeland going? He's going down to his, going down to his station. I never actually saw this part, so I'm gonna <laughs> uh, let's see where's he going. Do 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 do. All right, there he goes. Fun stuff. Now, like I said, this is a very nice weapon. We're eventually gonna get our hands on temporarily. And most Marauders do carry the SAF. Uh, the ones that I attacked did not, for some reason. They had this rifle instead. We're just gonna... get Deke hey, I'm, uh, to sleep over. Start a new day. Yep, pretty, uh, pretty light. Starting off pretty light. That's okay. Nighty night. Sleep like loser says, they're here a bunk calling my name. All right, folks, when you tune in to the next episode, I will be taking you on a journey that will have you chomping at the bit to fire up this game yourself and go explore.
See you over there. Hmm. <sighs> ready to go back at it. <clears throat>